I was working at a place called Law and Justice Planning Office. One of the things they were to do was to improve crime prevention in the city of Seattle. The whole rape issue was important at that time, and I was lucky enough to do a study on rape based on reported rapes in Seattle in the previous several years. I received a telephone call from my mentor at the University of Washington, and she called to say that she had a student, and his name was Ted Bundy. He had applied to law school, but his grades for his first two years in college were very poor. So his plan was to meet people in the system and have recommendations to take with him on his next round of applications for law school. He was so impressive that he was hired uh, for a brand new project, this crime prevention project. He was to be working with some prominent lawyers and some businessmen and other people who were interested in preventing crime. The head of the commission at that time was Professor Ezra Stotlin from the university. And Ezra was so charmed by him that he had him to dinner at his home many times and told me that his 16-year-old daughter also thought that Ted was just special. And Ezra said, you know, I secretly hoped that my daughter would marry someone just like him. Donald Segretti. Reports in major newspapers say White House aides recruited Segretti for secret intelligence work and dirty tricks against the Democrats. There was someone named Donald Segretti who was a dirty trickster in the Nixon campaign. These Republican tricksters wanted to call prostitutes for delegates at the Democratic convention that made it look like the Democrats had called up to get all of these prostitutes involved. At the same time, Ted came to visit me one day. He'd been working in this gubernatorial campaign and he was standing in my office and I remember him telling me about this, that he had been helping this candidate in the governor's race and that he had been involved in following around the opponent and wearing wigs and false mustache and other things. It's hard for me to believe that what I did is newsworthy and my part in the campaign was so insignificant I'm embarrassed that I should be getting this publicity from it. Uh, really embarrassed. <laughs> I remember saying to him, are you getting your lead from Donald Segretti? And I remember he laughed. He was sort of relishing telling us about that and, and about wearing different wigs and having to appear differently in different contexts and that nobody ever put it together. Nobody ever saw him as the same person. He was like a chameleon. In addition to that, he stole all these things from the political headquarters that he was working in. He stole a typewriter, he stole a printer, he stole paper, he stole everything he could get his hands on, he stole. I was very put off by what he was doing and um, I remember thinking, I, I think I'm done with this guy. <laughs> 